It's good to be with you. Welcome to Class Outside. Today, we are going to learn how to set an HDR file as a sky sphere in 3JS. For this, we will need some tools. A 360 image in a .hdr file format is necessary. I will be demonstrating with this image I found for free of some clouds from polyhaven.com. A code editor is also necessary. I will use Visual Studio Code. A project for this demo can be found on github.com. A package manager will be necessary to download JavaScript script libraries like 3JS. I will be using Node Package Manager or NPM. Links to the files and software used in this video can be found down in the description. To start, we need to choose and download a 360 image. I'll choose this one with the nice clouds. Then we download it. Next, let's go to GitHub and download the project. After we extract the project, open it in a code editor. Then open a terminal window and navigate to the folder that includes the file named package.json. Then run a command to install the dependencies. With Node Package Manager, this will be npm install. If you're following along, make sure to copy the image files somewhere that the project can see. The expected path for the image can be found in mainview.js in the image path variable. Mainview.js sets up the scene that will be viewed in the browser. It creates a camera and then updates the aspect ratio based on the browser's window. It also sets up an ambient light. The inside of a sky sphere must be illuminated in some way or our camera won't be able to see any. The ambient light brightens everything, including the inside of the sky sphere. Back in the code, the sky sphere method is called. When the set sky sphere method method is called, it takes the image location and creates a sphere with that image and adds it to our scene. The first step to do this is to load the image. And for HDR images, we use the RGBE loader provided by 3JS. RGBE stands for red, green, blue, and exposure. Exposure deals with the brightness of an image. This loader is useful for HDR files. HDR stands for high dynamic range, which basically refers to the sometimes large differences between brightness and darkness throughout an image. It's exposure to light. After loading the image with the RGBE loader, we can create a sphere. This will be the sky sphere that the camera will be inside of. It must have a radius that is larger than all of the elements in the scene or else things will get cut off. Luckily, this scene will only have the camera and the sphere. Next, the material is set up. A material describes what the surface of the geometry should look like. The side of the sky sphere material is set to the back side. This means that the image will appear on the inside of the sphere and not the outside. Then a mesh for the sphere is created. The mesh object applies the material to the geometry so that everything appears as expected. And finally, we add it to the scene. Now, let's run the program. In a terminal window, run the following custom command. npm run start dash dev. Two command prompt windows should open. This project uses a JavaScript tool called Webpack. With that, it takes an extra moment to prepare the project, and the file's output might run faster when placed on a server. Now, open a web browser and go to localhost 3000. Look at that. Together, we have created a sky sphere with an HDR image. Please let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video. Have a great day and thank you for attending class outside.